Please note that this project will require the use of a hot glue gun. Please perform this project under adult supervision. Welcome to the virtual Paint, Build, Create special event, a science, technology, engineering, art, and math themed event for all ages. Brought to you by the Arlington County Department of Parks and Recreation. My name is Charlie Eby, and today we'll be making a popsicle stick catapult. What you'll need for this project is 10 popsicle sticks, five of them that have been cut in half, three to four feet of string or twine, one sheet of paper, scissors, and hot glue. First thing, we will make the rectangular bricks by gluing two of the half sticks to the full sticks as shown and then gluing it again. The half sticks will be on the bottom side of the base as we continue. Attach two half sticks flat end down to the middle of the long side of the base as shown. These we will call the uprights. Take two more half sticks and glue them to the inside of the uprights and to the base. We'll call these sticks the braces. Glue another half stick across the upright lights and opposite of the braces.
Now for the throwing arm. Take your piece of paper and cut a line to the center. Using this cut, fold the piece of paper into a cone, trimming the sharp corners. Smush the tip of the cone flat and glue it to one end of the stick. Place the throwing arm to the side and we will now be making the rope. Take the string and fold it in half. Now it's easier to have a friend help you with this part. Have them hold the folded tip of the twine while you twist about 20 times. Once you've twisted enough times, fold in half again and repeat the process. and do it one more time. Now, thread the rope in between the two full sticks of the base of the catapult in front of the base. If needed, use a popsicle stick to help thread it through. Tie it in place with a knot and then move the knot to the side. Now we'll attach the arm. Take the remaining half stick and cut it once more in half. Put this remaining half with a rounded tip in between the ropes. Twist backwards. The more times you twist, the harder it will be to try to snap back in place, making for a harder throw. Now holding the stick in place, put a generous amount of glue onto the rope twister and attach to the throwing arm. Hold in place for about a minute to make sure the glue sets.
You now have your catapult. Place a balled up piece of paper inside the bucket and pull the arm back and let go. With this catapult, we can see three different types of energy at work. Potential energy, kinetic energy, and gravitational energy. Potential energy is the energy held by an object but not yet released. We can see this through the twisted string and when we hold the throwing arm back. The energy from the twisted string is then moved to the throwing arm and then the paper ball when we let go. It is transformed into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy an object possesses due to its motion. There are two parts of the catapult that possess kinetic energy when in use, the throwing arm and the paper ball. Which finally brings us to gravitational energy, also known as gravity. This is the energy that causes the paper ball, and everything else in the world, to fall to the ground when in the air, and stay there. Thank you for joining us at the virtual Paint Build Create event. Be sure to check out all of our other activities at the link or QR code on the screen.